People can't change the weather, but Democrats can because they're not people. Big storm hit America, went right up the Gulf Coast, right in the crotch of America, right up the butthole of America, really. I mean, you've got Florida, which is the dick, obviously. So what's behind the dick? Well, the ass. So the hurricane, right up the ass. And it has damaged a bunch of uh, American homes and businesses and people, and lots of people died. That's bad. I wouldn't want to politicize that. If you want to politicize it, you can do it the right way. You can tell people who follow you to donate money. You can suggest that we run uh, shelters. The government runs uh, shelters for things. You can gather money for those kinds of things. You can suggest that we have the government do some sort of monitoring, which we do with NOAA and uh, the National Weather Service and stuff like that, which we already do. And you can have them relay uh, alerts and tell people, uh, evacuate, get away from here. That's all good. That's all political. It really is. But we all benefit from it, so we don't complain about it usually. But what you don't want to do, what you don't want to do is suggest that the Democrats control the weather. That's what you don't do. You don't say that one party controls the weather and has superpowers. But Marjorie Taylor Greene is an idiot, so that's what she's done. Hello human, it is me Kanooch, I need you to press the subscribe button. I have to feed my many AI babies. Uh, you can tell your legislators to vote for bills to fund FEMA. Yeah, you can do that. That's a political thing that you can do and should do. I'm on board for that. So, what has Maytag done this time? This is the map of the hurricane-affected areas with an overlay. Oh, sorry, I have to do my uh, Karen voice. All right, all right, here we go. This is a map of um, hurricane-affected areas with an overlay of electoral map by political party. Shows how hurricane devastation could affect the election. Yes, they can control the weather. It's ridiculous for anyone to lie and say it can't be done. Marge, honey, listen. If the Democrats could control the weather, I'd be more likely to vote for them because they have superpowers. Man, I, if we're picking teams, I want to be on the team with the weather control device, not against the team with the weather control device. Why would you be on the team that doesn't control the literal weather? Stupid. <laughs> but let's hear what she had to say. Uh, let's read this. Uh, Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene has sparked a backlash after appearing to suggest that Democrats can control the weather. Yes, they can control the weather. The Georgia Republican wrote on X, formerly Twitter, because that's its full name. You have to say the whole thing. On Thursday evening, it's ridiculous for anyone to lie and say that can't be done. Her comments came after Hurricane Helene swept through the southeastern U.S. after making landfall in Florida last week, inflicting damage from Florida's Gulf Coast to the Alapache Alap Appalachian Mountains in Virginia. In another post on X, Green, who is an ally of former President Donald Trump, shared a map of the region with a majority of co counties colored red, indicating they vote Republican and fewer in blue. This is a map of the hurricane. Yeah, we saw, looked at that. Many took to social media to criticize and mock Green for her remarks. The congresswoman has a history of promoting conspiracy theories in 2021. She was stripped of her committee assignments by the House Democratic majority over her, her embrace of conspiracy theories, racist remarks, and her past endorsements of violence against leading Democrats. If we control the weather, why the hell do we not have... Why do we have such droughts around the world and wildf wildfires getting worse each year? They could just turn the rain on and refill the billions of gallons of water America is needing right now to stop the fires. Marjorie Taylor Greene is dumb as fuck. I agree. If Dems controlled the weather, they would make it rain on California so that it wouldn't be in drought all the time. They would control that. Uh, the, California's always on fire, man. Uh... And she is the dumbest member of Congress. You don't have to remind us of it every day. That's that's a depressing thought. If you're American, I know some of my the people in my chat aren't. I'm paying her salary for the rest of her life. If you get elected to Congress, and she was, even when you're done with that, the government keeps paying you. They just keep paying you forever for the, your entire life. That comes from tax money. So I have to keep paying her stupid salary <laughs> maybe if she gets impeached and thrown out they don't have to but i don't know i don't think that's going to happen anyway she's probably gonna lose her next election she can't do anything for the state but let's uh also uh look at things she said in the past uh can you explain what exactly is happening because all i saw was the funny stuff on tiktok that kamala gave 750 to the 750 of the victims um fema is 
a large organization that has taken a bunch of tax money and it is doing good things if it can to rebuild the the place trying to help people out trying to get them money and trying to get them fed and stuff like that if it's only gave 750 but that's i mean that's a millions of people yeah fema is a thing that exists and it works slowly because it's part of the government it is a large organization that works slowly and is going to try to uh, rebuild these places and uh, help the, the survivors that's good it should work slowly if it doesn't work slowly if it works haphazardly haste makes waste you know if fema works too fast they'll give the money to the wrong people it'll go into the wrong place it will make waste so they're moving slowly if uh, somebody on tiktok is complaining that this the victims just got seven hundred fifty thousand seven hundred fifty dollars each they're also interested in rebuilding the community resetting up shelters and stuff like that that's not a direct money to the people it's not anything to do with kamala it's due to fema being severely underfunded it is somewhat underfunded and we will talk about that later because donald trump took funding from it when he was in charge once that was years ago but the congress into 2023 actually increased the funding oh yeah, yeah, yeah. so marjorie taylor green says that they can control the weather what if i showed you her suggesting that they can't control the weather <laughs> Here is Marjorie Taylor Greene suggesting that nobody can control the weather. People are not affecting climate change. People can't control the weather. You're going to tell me that back in the Ice Age, how much taxes did people pay and how many changes did governments make to melt the ice? The climate is going to continue to change. And there is no reason to just open up our borders and allow everyone in and continue to funnel over $50 billion or however many billions of dollars or trillions of dollars to foreign countries all over the world simply because they don't like the climate change. I know it is word salad, but the point she's getting to is that people don't control the weather. Now, I'm going to put my hat on and we're going to we're going to uh, discuss this because there's there's major implications to what she's telling you. You haven't seen them yet, but I have because I have the future site. And then we need this button over here. Hang on, I got my thing. We're going to go here. Red. Yeah, we turned the lights red. And we turn them up. Can I maximize them? Max, max out the lights. There we go. Red. All right. You guys ready? Folks, Marjorie Taylor Greene is onto something here. Follow me here on this one. We all know climate change is a hoax and that the people can't change the weather. But, 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 listen, Democrats can aim hurricanes at red states before an election because they are not people. That's the secret message Marge is sending. People can't change the weather, but Democrats can because they're not people. Why do you think they're so in love with illegal aliens? Because they are aliens too. That's why we call them Democrats. They aren't people. Wake up, America. Non-human entities are running the deep state government to steal your gold. <sighs> uh, <laughs> yeah, you didn't know that, did you? You didn't know that the Democrats weren't people. That's why, that's why she's not wrong, see? She says people can't control the weather, but Democrats can because they're not people. <laughs> that's a joke, YouTube. Please don't boot me off of YouTube for false... Uh, uh, information like you did last time. I had the hat, I had the colored lights, and I had the voice. Don't kick me off of YouTube. That was a joke. Thank you, YouTube. <laughs> now you're aware of the truth. Yeah, now you guys are enlightened. Now you know where this is coming from and what's, what the future holds. Uh, so, yeah. So, um, yeah, Karen Watch continues. Uh, Maytag is a crazy person. She is elected to her position. She gets to vote on laws. I have to live under the laws that she votes for or votes not for. That's awful. That's terrible. She's a moron. I shouldn't have to listen to her. I shouldn't be <laughs> expected to follow laws that are passed by an idiot. But I am because the idiots in Georgia elected her. Stop electing her. Georgia, people of Georgia, listen, don't vote for her. She's an idiot. You can do better. I guess that's my message. <laughs> Stop being an idiot. <laughs> I am the algorithm. Click on this video to make me happy. You wouldn't like me when I am angry.